This is an introduction to the Bachelor's of Science of Mathematics program at Bellevue University. All students in the mathematics program will take the courses in the mathematics core, which include pre-calculus, calculus 1 and 2, applied statistics, discrete mathematics, linear algebra, abstract algebra, and intro to programming. From there, students will choose an emphasis area that aligns with their own interests and career goals. The education emphasis is for students who wish to teach math in grades 6 through 12. Keep in mind that the mathematics emphasis will give you the math courses necessary to teach at that level. However, state by state, you must know that you will be required to take some pedagogy um, and other education related courses. If you plan to teach in Nebraska, you may enroll in the on campus degree of secondary education. If you're planning to teach in a state other than Nebraska, you will want to contact the Department of Education in your state to know which courses are then required for you to take um, so that you may teach in that state. For those students wishing to use mathematics in the business sector, the business analytics emphasis is for you. You will analyze data to gain new insights and improve strategic decision making. One thing to note about this particular emphasis is that students who complete the three classes need only to also take BAN 300 in order to receive the undergraduate business analytics certificate of completion. In the data science emphasis, you will learn how to gather both structured and unstructured data and be able to organize it to analyze and understand useful information contained within those data sets for decision making. There are three classes to take for that emphasis. For those students wishing to specialize in the field of predictive analytics, you may take the predictive modeling emphasis. What's important to understand about this particular emphasis is that the majority of the courses are offered not through Bellevue University, but for, through the Institute for Statistics Education uh, at statistics.com. Because they are not offered through Bellevue University, financial aid may not be available for those courses. The final emphasis is the programming emphasis for those students who wish to gain a deeper understanding of the programming languages of Python and Java. All courses in the mathematics program are offered in the online format. However, they are very interactive and collaborative. You will get to know your classmates very well and feel comfortable reaching out to them if you have any issues, as well as me, your professor. There is an asynchronous component to each class that includes video lectures, reading assignments, discussion questions, homework and assessments. Those are items that you can complete uh, on your own time within your own schedule, as long as, of course, you follow along with the due dates of the course. The synchronous component includes one on one meetings with a professor. You have those in general twice per term per course that you are enrolled in. You may also find that you'll have a group project, in which case you will need to find time to meet synchronously with your classmates or be able to collaborate asynchronously. In addition to having a computer or tablet of some sort in order to be able to access your online course, you have specific materials required for the mathematics program. You either will want a digital inking device. This includes an iPad with an Apple Pencil, an Android tablet with a stylus, a walk home tablet that you can plug into your laptop or you will need a printer and something to be able to scan with. The idea here is that, of course, this being a math program, you will need to be able to show your mathematical work. So you need to find what is best for you, what you are most comfortable with. Many students like to print out the assignments, complete the assignment, then scan and submit. Other students are more comfortable with digital inking and therefore they use an Apple Pencil and a PDF annotator or an Android device with a PDF annotator. Either way, you will be required to submit handwritten work, whichever format you choose. You of course will need access to the textbook for the course. Some courses will ask you to uh, have access to an online homework completion program such as WebAssign or Hawks. 
You will want access to a TI-83 or greater graphing calculator. However, in each course, there is a link to a graphing calcul calculator emulator that you may download. And then of course, because you will be meeting with me twice per term, you will need to have some way to do that, webcam and headphones or from your you know, cell phone and headphones and so forth. The last thing I wanted to share with you is the math program course schedule. This is effective fall of 2024. These are the courses required and when each course is offered. If you have any questions at all regarding the math program at Bellevue University, please do not hesitate to contact me. My name is Kimberly Brame. I am the director of the mathematics bachelor degree. Uh, as well as the instructor for all of the courses in the program. My phone number on campus is 402-557-7554. However, I mostly work from home. The best way to reach me is kbrame at bellevue.edu. I look forward to speaking with you.